I've come along today to the River Hill Gardens, the River Hill Himalayan Gardens, and they're beautiful gardens, lots of rhododendrons and azaleas, etc. Anyway, bodging with the public today, so a chance for members of the public to have a go on our pole laves, and it's always great because you get interesting questions, people have a go and they learn a bit about pole laving, and sometimes people decide to join the bodgers, so all good fun. And as it's Father's Day, it's our bodging with Dad. Well, the gardens are lovely. Some parts are quite formally laid out and others are rather nice and so fairly casual and fairly rustic looking, really. But there are sculptures all over the garden and they're great fun. I mean, this one, it looked like it had been carved out of wood, although it was actually made out of a resin or a metal. And they're wonderful old trees dating back probably to Victorian times, nice redwoods, etc. A little woodland setting here with the foxgloves and more sculptures. Looks a little bit like a bench, I suppose. Could be a propeller. <laughs> and I was pleased to see that they had vegetables as well, because I grow quite a lot of vegetables. And these ones look very good. Nice sunny position. This is a more formal part of the garden. And they had nice lawns and fountains there as well. So here they are, with lovely views. Some of the widest views across the Kent countryside. Parts of the garden still are being developed, but I like to see these slightly more rustic areas. And more sculptures. Now this one, it looked like byproducts from sink manufacturer. We were trying to work out what it was. But you wouldn't cut those shapes out intentionally, so there must be a byproduct from something. But very good quality welding. They obviously got very good at their welding with this sort of thing. So that was very good. And of course there's a nice cafe, so always what you want to have, a nice cuppa. Other parts of the gardens here, we, this is where we were working from and it was in front of the main house on the lawns which I think had been used as a tennis court for a while. So we put our banners up for the Association of Pole Lave Turners and look at that, a lovely view behind us. Lovely sweeping hills. So what do you do with an old wine box? Well, what do you, do with an old wine? you make a nice tool cabinet. It's very good isn't it? A nice little inner shelf with a nice oak framing. And then your tools down below. Yeah, it's great. Quite light as well, isn't it, to carry? You know, I know you've got the weight of the tools, but the actual yeah. box itself yeah. is rather nice. Excellent. We had a very busy time with the visitors, letting them use our lathes. But in some of the quieter moments, I thought I'd get my camera out and take a few little shots. So it's always nice to get some film with these events. It looks quite a nice piece of oak, that, it's isn't oak, it? Oak, yes. First, so it's, uh, quite a nice bit of patterning, hopefully, on it. First oak bubble I will have ever, ever made. Oh, all right, so well, that's good. This is a, a first, which is a quite first, nice. A first, yes. And yeah. A bit of an experiment. But, yeah. Um, oh, why not? If it works, then. Uh, it's worth doing, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's great to have the opportunity to use a piece of oak this size. It looks like it's shaping up quite nicely. It's quite hard work, isn't it, doing the actual shaping up? Yes, it is. Physically, yeah. you know. I know one person when I was on the pole lathe just now looked at you and said, Crikey, that chap's having to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the, the boring bit of bowl turning, I guess. But, uh, but cool. hopefully, it'll yeah. be uh, well worth it. good, yeah. Working in wood. But any of any moisture. Oh, any high on <laughs> Works really well, doesn't it? Mm. It's got a lovely smooth handle there yeah. coming out. One of my friends was selling bird boxes for an orphanage to raise funds. And we put some of our tools out, so some of our leather working and some of our blacksmithing here. And a nice hammer made into an adze for hollowing out bowls, etc. And here we are. How about this for a nice little axe? So a Viking style axe with a straight handle, but a very nice one. It's looking good, isn't it? Yeah.
From mid-morning onwards it became really busy, so it was hands on pole laves and letting the children and the dads and the mums have a go, turning wood and working a shave horse. But I think the public really enjoyed it, and I must say I met a lot of people and I enjoyed it. I did feel rather exhausted at the end of it, but there you are. It's good for people to have a go at these things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the film, and thanks for watching.